Hallelujah. Praise God. We just thank God for another night. Amen. Another night, another day. I give God the honor and the glory. I thank him. Amen. For the opportunity to bring forth his word. Amen. To the power of his Holy Spirit by the blood of the Lamb who cleanses us from all unrighteousness. We just thank you, Lord. Amen. And tonight we're going to do another devotion. Amen. And it's very interesting how the Holy Spirit it led me to this topic about sleeping amen and many people are still in bondage in their life because of sleep <laughs> sleeping some people sleep because they're stressed out or they are depressed or they just have a poor diet there's so many numerous reasons why a person sleeps so much especially when they're going through trials and tribulations in their life and they know they need deliverance but don't have the desire nor the heart to continue on in the area where they need deliverance they need prayer amen praise God so God father God we just give you the praise honor and glory for each person that is listening I thank you father God for the power of the blood of Jesus for your word says in Revelations chapter 12 verse 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony I thank you father God that tonight each person who is listening or in the future father God that they know that the weapon that they have Amen. The weapon that you came, you gave us is the blood of the lamb. Amen. And the word. Amen. The word of God, your son, Jesus, to be our testimony. I thank you, Father God. Jesus is our weapon. I thank you, Father God, that I believe in you. I believe in you, Father God. I believe in your son, Jesus. And I believe in the power of your Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus I thank you father God for the blessed power of the Holy Spirit that dwells inside of me I thank you father God that the Holy Spirit is unshakable amen he is the internal power of the Word of God he is the internal power that's in my life and in the lives of those amen receive the impartation of the Holy Spirit amen receive the power of the Holy Spirit partake in his presence amen so, so holy, holy spirit <laughs> holy spirit i welcome you tonight i welcome you holy spirit you are welcome in the mighty name of jesus come now holy spirit let there be deliverance amen let there be deliverance in the testimony and the daily devotions that i do i thank you spirit of the living god i'm thankful that you would give me insight, revelation of your word to teach prophetically and to speak deliverance into the lives of your people, Father God. I pray now in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why sleepest thou? Amen. Why are you sleeping so much when you're in bondage? What's going on in your life? Amen. You need deliverance. What's happening? Amen. The word of God says in Psalms 18 verse 6, In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry, be and my cry came before him even into his ears. Amen. That's awesome. The cry came before him where he could see it. And it came into his ears where he could hear the cry. Amen praise God for that word and the word of God also we're going to read tonight is Matthew chapter 13 verse 24 to verse 30 amen and it's speaking about the parable of the weeds and I'm going to read from the NIV version to limit all that art dial this this and this and that amen <laughs> praise God <clears throat> the word of God says in the book of par in the in the parable the book of Matthew concerning the parables. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. The key point, he sowed a he who sowed good seed in his field. If you have a Bible highlighter, highlight that. Amen. Because that is a key point of teaching. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed 
in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed seeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow seed, sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An uh, enemy did this, he replied. I like that too, amen. He recognized where the weeds came from. He didn't hesitate. He responded, an enemy did this. The servants asked him, do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it unto my barn. Amen. Oh, that's an excellent word there. Praise God for that word. Praise God. So there's a separation. Amen. From the weeds, from the wheat. A separation and this is a this this story is a representation of the body of Christ today many of us are growing together with the weeds but, we, but there's no separation yet we got to be careful who we weed out because that weed may be attached to that wheat amen and the wheat has the right to survive and the weed as the word of God says will be root up amen and will be cast into the fire. Amen. To do what? Burn. <laughs> Praise God. It continues to say. Beloved. If you sleep. When you are supposed to be praying. When you are supposed to be resting. You will find yourself praying. Because of the challenges. Around you. One of the most incompetent men on earth. Are men. Who have been entrusted with the job of staying awake and yet are found sleeping on duty and he cometh and findeth them sleeping and saith unto Peter Simon sleepest thou couldest not thou watch one hour watch ye and pray lest ye enter into temptation the spirit truly is ready but the flesh is weak amen the spirit is truly ready but the flesh, amen, is weak. And a lot of times we do find ourselves slumbering when we should be praying, when we should be reading the Bible. But the devil, the enemy, does not want you to stay up. Amen. He doesn't want you to receive your harvest. Amen. Praise God. So it's so important to begin to learn in this lesson the power of not sleeping you know when you should be praying praise God praise God and many of us should be sleeping really should be sleeping but because of the life challenges in our life we are, un we are unable to sleep unable to enjoy our rest because the enemy is constantly coming to persecute us amen praise God it, it continues to say uh, oh, and that scripture that I read to you was Mark chapter 14, verse 37 through verse 38. Amen. And I'm going to read the NIV version to you. It says, then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. He found them sleeping. Amen. Jesus came out of the garden of Gethsemane. He prayed for an hour and he came back to see them sleeping. Mm, praise God. Praise God. Awesome word. Awesome word. It says here. Amen. All the efforts of man become wasted if he sleeps. When he should have been watching over his investments. If you sleep too much, you may not fulfill your destiny. The kind of sleep I'm referring to here is not the sleep not the sleep one does at night mm -mm. not that kind of sleep amen <laughs> praise God not that kind of sleep where you need to be sleeping 
and getting that rest. We're going to go a little deep tonight. We're going to talk about the spiritual sleep. Amen. We're going to talk about the sleep that comes upon you. Even when you are alert. But he still finds a way to come upon you. To distract you from your purpose. From your destiny in life. Amen. Praise God. Thank you Father God. But the words say it is mental and spiritual. Inactivity. Dormancy. And passive acceptance of whatever is going on in life. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sows good seed in his field. But while men slept, there you go. You know, why the men slept, as the scripture says, why they slept, the enemy came in and he sowed tears among the wheat. And went his way. And that journey that happens. When we make good investments. We sow in a good field. Just like this parable. The man sowed in the kingdom. Amen. He sowed in a good in good seed. Amen. And a lot of us are planting good seed. And a good harvest. In the kingdom of God. Amen. But the enemy. Because we don't watch over our investments. The enemy has found a foothold. Amen. To come in and to bring destruction among us. Praise God. But one of the most incompetent men are people who sleep at the time when, you know, the time when they're supposed to be on duty. And a lot of us are not on duty. Amen. Any man who entrusts his business to a security guard who sleeps when he should be on duty will lose his business to armed robbers. Amen. And many of us, if you just look at it from a spiritual perspective, many of us are losing so much, losing so much spiritually. And it's what we lose in spiritually is manifesting in the natural because we begin to lose stuff naturally because we're not taking the time to bring up our spiritual senses, you know, our discernment to really begin to discern that when you sow that seed, you know, into a ministry or into somebody's life. Watch over your seed. Watch over it. Amen. It's going to grow. But at the same time, you got to prevent the enemy from coming in to bring seed of destruction into your good field. You know, he wants to come to kill, steal, and destroy. He's a murderer. He's a liar. He's a cheater. He's a swindler. He's crafty. He's deceptive. And he would do whatever he can to destroy your destiny, your purpose. So it's so important to understand that even when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he still required his, his disciples to do what? To stay awake and do what? Pray. Intercede for him. But the flesh was weak. They fell asleep. And many of us, many of us have failed in that area, including myself. There's been many times I keep telling myself, oh, how did this happen? I'd be on my knees, the Bible wide open, hands folded, I'm praying scriptures. And by the time I wake up, I've been on my knees for almost an hour or two hours. Fell asleep, dozed off because the flesh was weak. And while I fell asleep, amen, there's no telling what kind of ruck, ruckus the enemy was doing. While I slept, he came in and he sowed his seed, his weeds. Weeds of destruction tears into my life because I was slumbered. I slumbered. I fell asleep. That's why it's so important to get your rest. Don't get too distracted. Don't get too busy. Make sure whatever you are assigned to, it's, it's, it's God who has assigned you to it, not man. So when the night time come, you will have the strength to stay up. And bring forth the gospel, the ministry of Jesus Christ, and pray and intercede for others that needs intercessory. Amen. That needs people to pray for them. But if you got a security guard who's supposed to be on duty, but he's not on duty doing his job, why? Because he fell asleep. And when he fell asleep, what? Robbers came in and they stole. Many people, as I have stated, have lost. Amen. Have lost. What rightfully should be their inheritance. And many of us have lost a lot of our inheritance because we sleep in. 
we're not being watchful amen at all times amen when we should be awake now we, once again let's make this very clearly there is a natural sleep there is a spiritual sleep naturally we do sleep and get our rest amen but when there's life challenges that are occurring in our life we should be spiritually awake where we are praying and interceding over our lives and those who contend with us amen praise god so this just don't want no one to get confused with the message here today it, it's it's a spiritual thing jesus was praying in the garden of Gethsemane. he knew his time had come it had come amen but at the same time jesus knew there was power in prayer he said where two or three are gathered in my name there i am in the midst of them amen he said if we stand in agreement amen touching and agreeing anything touching anything on earth it shall be done of us done for us amen in the name of the father amen name of the father the son and the holy ghost amen it goes back to scriptural teaching it goes back to that understanding why it's so important not to sleep or slumber on the job spiritually because what's going on spiritually must manifest in the natural praise god hallelujah praise god hallelujah men who sleep on duty are men who lose their precious treasures to the enemies of their souls any man who cannot stay awake when it is the most essential to him will ha will have every cause to regret in to regret it in life amen there is sleep that is known as sleep of bondage the sleep of bondage is a sleep a man sleeps at a time he should be watchful against the enemies of his progress at a time a man should guard what belongs to him in prayer and fasting and he falls into slumber he will not know when the end when the enemy come and steal from him his precious inheritance he won't know this is what happened to abraham amen and abraham he he did he fell asleep too while he slept amen the spirit of darkness came upon him amen the word of god tells us in genesis chapter 15 verse 2 and abraham said lord god thou wilt thou give me seeing i go childless and the steward of my house is is this as ebeliza of damascus amen he is now saying to god what's what's going on i have no child who's going to be a steward over my stuff is it going to be eliza uh eliza of damascus he was asking that question amen but see why he was praying amen in the midst of praying he fell asleep amen it says in the midst of his praying he fell asleep and the sleep that the sleep amen while he's sleeping a lot of torment came into the lives of israel oh i'm telling you it's a powerful teaching lesson here i may have to do a part two here but it's so important to understand that the terror of darkness says a horrible darkness fell upon him and he went to sleep amen spiritually he was sleeping he was in bondage because the enemy was preventing him from sowing his seed. You got to understand people of God. Sowing your seed is not always monetary. Amen. Just like me. I'm sitting up right now and I'm teaching the word of God. Amen. Because this is where my passion is. I love doing what I do. But at the same time, I am sowing seed. Amen. My seed will continue on and on because it's being recorded. People from anywhere all over the world can listen to this message anytime they want to. They can carry the same message that I'm teaching right now into their communities, into their ministries or churches, or into their homes. Amen. And they are sowing seed. Seed to do what? To prosper so that they can have what? A plan a plan a destiny a purpose they can have hope and they can have future amen according to jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 through verse 14 amen so it's so important to understand that when you are sleeping you end up in a spiritual bondage there's some people they say that they be up and then all of a sudden they wake up just like me same thing happened to me and then the enemy, it gave the enemy an opportunity to come in and 
rob me of certain parts and areas of my life of my destiny and to God be the glory thank God for his redemption power thank God for the power of the blood of the lamb that redeems me from the curse of the law I'm able to take the power of the blood of Jesus and speak life over my circumstances amen and speak the blood of Jesus over the enemy that came in and sown destruction in my life Praise God for the power of deliverance with the word of God. Amen. Praise God. But it's so important to understand that we are to keep ourselves healthy. Also, keep ourselves healthy. Keep ourselves abiding in the word of God. Stay connected through prayer, through fasting. Seek God. Do whatever you have to do to protect your destiny. Not just your destiny, but your children's destiny. Just like Abraham. When Abraham fell asleep... 400, 400 years later, the children of Israel ended up in bondage because of sleep. This is a powerful message. Sleep, sleep is good in the natural, but that spiritual sleep ain't no joke. When you allow the enemy to overcome you spiritually, you're going to struggle, not just spiritually, but you're going to struggle naturally. Because let's get back to the story here. The man sown the seed. In, good, in a good field, good ground. The enemy came late at night while everyone was asleep. The enemy sown a seed with, alongside with the man's seed that he sown in good ground. When they woke up and the servants see it, they say, how could this happen? We, they knew specifically they had sown good seed. But the man the, the, the head man he said the enemy came in to do this amen so he knew right then who came in the middle of the night and sown these tears in his good field amen so let me tell you something but the word of God is faithful and just amen just like father, the word of God say father said that any seed that he has not planted he will root it up Amen. According to Matthew chapter 15 verse 13. So anything that's been planted in your life. That, ha that was not planted by God. But was planted by the enemy. Speak that word of life. Matthew 15 verse 13. Anything that you specifically know right now in your life. If it's anger, disappointment, rejection, shame, disencouragement. Whatever it is. Finances. Whatever that's affecting your finances. And it seems like you can't get nowhere. Root it up with the word of God. Amen. Decree and declare the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen. And the word of God specifically says, by fire, by force, I command every root of impossibility in my life to be uprooted and burnt into ashes. Amen. Every evil wind blowing failure and impossibility into my life be diverted by the east wind of God. Begin to blow on your senders in Jesus name. Amen. Begin to blow. <sighs> Blow on those, amen, that's been sent to cause destruction. <sighs> Blow in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil wind blowing failure and, and, and impossibility into my life. Be diverted by the east wind of God. Amen. Begin to blow on your senders. Blow on them, amen. Those who were sent to and was assigned to you. Begin to blow. <sighs> Just blow on them. <sighs> Say, go in the mighty name of Jesus. Go, go. Every failure, every spirit of failure, go back to the sender <sighs> every impossibility that was planted in my life to divert me go back to the sender <sighs> go back in the name of Jesus oh Lord wherever my name is being mentioned for evil wherever my enemies are thinking evil concerning me let the thunder of God strike them and let them flee in seven ways before me in Jesus name by fire by force I command every area of my life which the devil is holding in captivity to be loosened in Jesus mighty name amen by by fire by force I command every root of impossibility in my life to be uprooted be uprooted be uprooted and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus amen be burnt to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus every evil wind blowing failure and impossibility in my life be diverted by the east wind of God be diverted by the east wind of God <sighs> <sighs>
in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil wind blowing failure and impossibility in my life be but be diverted by the east wind of God. <sighs> go back to the sender. <sighs> failure, go back to the sender. <sighs> Praise God. Impossibility. Go back to the to the centers. <sighs> Go back in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, wherever my name is being mentioned for evil, wherever my enemies are thinking evil concerning me, let the thunder of God strike them and let them flee seven ways before me. In Jesus' name. Amen. By fire, by force, I command every area of my life which the devil is holding captivity to be loosened in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In all areas of your lives, people of God, you need to learn how to walk in victory. Get out of that sleep or slumber. Amen. Learn how to get up and walk. With, walk. Hmm. Get up. Walk in the life of victory. Walk in your divine victory. You have a divine appointment with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So you need to learn how to wake up, get out of that spiritual sleep of slumber. We break and bind that spirit of slumber off your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and declare that you shall walk in your divine victory tonight, today and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your children shall walk in divine victory. Your husband, your wife, well, whoever you're contending with, let them walk in divine victory in the mighty name of Jesus. I am Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. You are properly deceited. I am properly seated and well positioned in my destiny. You are well positioned, people of God, men of God, especially men of God. I pray this word over you. Every man of God that hears the sound of my voice, I decree and declare that you are properly positioned in your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. You are properly positioned in your destiny position in your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, that every man, man of God, who decrees and declare the power and authority over their life, Father God, believing in the power of your Holy Spirit, Father God, I pray for each man of God, including the women of God, including their children, amen, and whoever they want prayer for, they will be seated and well positioned, well positioned in their destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Us. And I thank you, Lord, that our destiny, my destiny, their destiny, your destiny will not be terminated. And you shall gloriously prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Remember, the enemy comes to destroy. He comes to steal. He comes to kill. Amen. When you plant that seed in that ministry, in that church, watch over your seed. Don't let the enemy come contaminate your seed. Don't let nobody come and tell you you shouldn't have planted in this place, in that place. That's nothing but the enemy coming to destroy your seed before it comes forth. Amen. Before it comes forth. Amen. Remember, it must happen in the spirit before it can manifest in the natural. Just like when the man planted the wheat amen he had to let it grow together before he could separate it amen before he could separate it they had to grow together and then when they grew together like he said he said i would tell them to go and pull out the tears first then they gathered the wheat then they cast the tears into the fire. Amen. So remember, watch over your seed in the name of Jesus. And it continues to say the foundation of history of every true believer is victory that existed in Christ Jesus before birth. So know today, woman of God, man of God, child of God. <laughs> kingdom builders amen because that's what we are i am a kingdom builder i believe in building the kingdom of god here on earth as it is in heaven know today you can walk in your divine appointment know today you have victory in christ jesus amen <laughs>